So, do you need a realtor or representation when purchasing new construction? Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor. I make videos all about buying, selling, and trending topics in the real estate market, so consider subscribing to my channel so you never miss a new video. Okay, so to answer my question, in short, technically, no. You do not need a realtor or representation when purchasing new construction. But stay with me throughout the entire video, and at the end, I'm gonna share a very, very important tip because you're gonna notice that it's actually not in your best interest to not have any representation. I mean, think about it. The new construction salesperson is actually employed by the builder. They are incentivized to sell as many upgrades as they can. And honestly, their jobs are kind of dependent upon their performance. There are performance standards set by the builder and they have to meet that monthly, otherwise, they won't be in the job very long. So in short, the salesperson represents the builder and acts in the builder's best interest, which is not necessarily the best interest for you. Now, this is not to paint a picture that all new construction salespeople are evil and they can't be trusted and they're just trying to rip you off. To be honest, most of the ones that I've met are really great and I honestly would probably trust them over some of the real estate agents that I've met. But what I'm trying to say is that the new construction salespeople are kind of in like a conflict of interest. You see, a real estate agent is not incentivized the way, the same way as a new construction salesperson. For one, the real estate agent is either paid a flat rate commission or a percentage off the base price. So in other words, the salesperson gets paid more the more upgrades and more money they get you to spend and a real estate agent just gets paid the same regardless of how much money you spend. In addition to that, a real estate agent's business is heavily reliant on referrals. In other words, it is in our best interest to act in your best interest in hopes that you'll refer us out to friends and family for more business. Now, I'm sure that a new construction salesperson would love your referrals and love that business, but it's just not in the builder's business model. Their primary way of getting business is advertising. Last but not least, a real estate agent represents you. They can take you to see multiple communities by multiple builders and help you compare and contrast objectively each community and builder. A new construction salesperson can only sell you a home in the community that they represent and they're not incentivized to make you aware of any other options. Okay, so now for my last and final tip, but very, very, very important tip that I told you that if you stuck around this long, I would tell you. And I'm gonna get very close. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. A buyer's agent or a real estate agent or representation of any kind for you as the buyer is absolutely free. Yeah, free. F-R-E-E, -E, free. It's free for you because the builder actually pays all of the commission. Actually, the seller always pays the commission for both the listing agent and the buyer's agent. So representation, whether it be new construction or resale, is always free to the buyer. So needless to say, the builder would absolutely love if you did not come represented and there was no one there to negotiate on your behalf. I mean, it honestly just adds to their bottom line and it's more profit for them. Okay, so I need you to pay attention to this next part, all right? I'm gonna get real close again. Your real estate agent or representation has to go with you on the first time that you step foot in the model home. It, if you can't bring them with you, at least let them know that you're going to a model home so that they can call ahead to register you. Because if you do not bring your real estate agent the first time that you step inside the model home, they will not let the real estate agent represent you. So before you go out touring homes, make sure that you talk to your real estate agent and coordinate with them. And if you don't have a real estate agent and you do want representation, make sure you find your real estate agent before you go to the model homes. 
Well, that about sums it up for my new construction representation. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video from me. My goal for 2021 is to help 24 families achieve their goal of either buying their dream home or taking advantage of this hot seller's market and selling their home. If you thought about buying or selling in Delaware, please feel free to reach out to me, whether it be send me an email or comment down below so that we can connect. I would love to help you achieve your dream. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.